Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Zara. Today I'm going to show you how to make some reflective text. And first what I'm going to do is make a copy, control and right mouse button. Just drag a copy up here so that I have the live text for backup. The next what I want to do is change this text into um, editable shapes. Then double click on the text twice until I'm in this third uh, page here and just move these over until they touch and next I want to space them by four uh, right arrow key presses on the keyboard after that's done save twice control S and next I'm going to make a copy of this control and right mouse button and then change it to no fill and a stroke change the stroke to 16 and that should have them just about touching each other and next I want to fill the stroke with the gradient so to do that first you have to change the line to a shape so go to arrange convert line to shape and now you'll be able to put a gradient through there It's just a little different. So now with that done, you can drag this up here and arrange both of these, send it to the back. Get that into position. And next I want to put a reflection on it. So first I'm going to pick a dark blue color. And then grab the lips tool. Drag an ellipse over this. change it to white and then go to the transparency tool and drag the transparency down and you have some nice reflective text but there's a problem with this if you want to put a background on here of a different color it's going to run into problems because that reflective text is going to be showing in the background we don't want that so what we need to do is cut the shapes out here so how I'm going to do that is grab the text here the outline hopefully I'm able to get it on the first try and the shape here just move that up and next select both of these and go to arrange Combine shapes, slice cut shape, and you should be able to get the shapes together. So go to arrange, break shapes. Now you can delete just that one piece and grab all this and put it together as one shape by pressing control one on the keyboard. Now doing this this way it preserves the transparency so you don't have to redo it again. And now that that's made you can put a gradient on the background here if you like. And make some nice reflective text. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.